show you how uh, we do this log cabin siding. This was actually a regular 2 by 8 that they pushed through a lathe and a joiner that has special teeth and it grinds these things down. I actually looked into it and you guys might look into getting into it as a business but I looked into what it takes. It'd be a, you probably could get a four or five thousand dollar investment for a used lathe slash joiner that makes these otherwise you'd be spending twenty thousand for a brand new uh, for a good one so they they run this through what would be a two by eight through and make it like so of course it has all the the grain and everything it has some issues you have to catch those like this one here the reason i have this scrap you notice it goes straight up here and then this part here was broken that part broke out or we might have a knot so we have to cut that square and we're fastening this on to a house that already has a siding on it it's a masonite siding but solid good shape was maintained, which you need to do with masonite. And so we're not gonna to need to put house wrap on here because we want to be able to see where the studs are. If you don't have your siding or if you're doing on a metal, say a mobile home metal siding, you will need to know where those uh, studs are. We are definitely paying attention to that. Let me show you what we're doing. Usually you have a lap you can see that where there's a nail here and then you can see a nail right here another nail right here so that means that's where the studs are at and because we have this to fasten to we don't have to cut it so it falls out on that even still we've learned a few things along the way uh, tricks and I'm sure there's going to be people saying we're doing it wrong, <laughs> but the customer is happy, exceptionally happy, and so am I with the looks of it. How about I show you, I take you around the corner and you'll see what the results of our hard work and our uh, hard knocks on learning ends up looking like. Come on in here. Really, really changed this home and this is her dream to have this kind of look and uh, I'm very happy to help this lady she's a special special person beautiful person inside uh, and, and she's not on the outside I'm just saying beautiful person on the inside her and her daughter she wants to leave this to her daughter and uh, and I, I want to see this happen too because her daughter is uh, paraplegic and I would like her to have a nice place to so I'm driving two and a half, three hours to get here, and I don't normally drive that far. And I'm happy, happy to help these people out, and I have my heart in it. So you can well imagine I'm not trying to cut corners, but we are going to continue, and I'm going to show you how you can do this. Maybe you ought to consider getting into the business of making this site and then installing it. What we did first was find out where the bottom was and I wanted to keep it above that skirting trim so that we could pull this out if we needed to and we wrapped it around on both sides made a mark on this side and then the width of this because it has a lap piece that goes up here let me go get one So it ends up with this lap, which sometimes that's shorter, sometimes it splits real easy, but it is seven inches from the bottom to the top. 
on this particular uh, setup anyway. And it's, we need to have the, as straight as possible on this top. And so we went up from the, where we want the bottom to be, went up seven inches, which is the width of this, on both ends, and we're gonna pop a line. May end up having to pop down because it looks like we got a water line at least in the way. We're gonna pull the trim off where the, this was a like a school. It had two rooms in it in the bathroom or his and her bathroom. Um, we're gonna pull that trim off in the middle and we're gonna fasten this with three inch screws, which we've had no issues. We tried inch and a halves and it uh, had problems. But we're gonna take you and uh, try to explain to you how we came to what works best for us and you can decide for your own but this is what we've done and we'll show you the end result as we go along. Bye.